Hi, Professor. This is Feng Luo. So today's our topic is about testing, verification, and validation for our simulation project. First, we come to the collection of the conforming data, meaning we are focused on the output from our system. So as we know, a simulation collects data specifically to conform its own fidelity to the system and calculates aspects of the simulation whose value we should already know. So basically we'll be do the comparison for the inputs and the outputs. Since I was doing the the game design, which is the, the tanker game, you can see the, in the on the right, this is the screen when you fail the challenge, by the end you obviously see the some of the metrics about the numbers. So a couple of the outputs from my system see the number of enemy, tanks killed, number of lives used, and the total number of the bonus remaining. And we also have some initial inputs for the system, like the number of the, my tank initial bonus, like 500. You see, once we, we do the challenge, by the end, we see only have the 417 left. And we have another input score, the main screen width, width and the height, like define this area and the max number of the enemy tank on the, on the on the map and also the number of lives the player have so we we define the four those are the those can be customized you can define your own settings so for this what we can do is like we can create the the data table or graphs to get an idea about the output data and we can do on top of that we can do the analysis to see how we design the each of the maps the levels we have in our in my game we have the five levels so we need to balance the game difficulty and makes the the game is much more fun and easy for user to access and the next we talk about the verification so couple aspects for the verification is like first I will be focused on the code verification and next is about the feature test so for code verification we normally focus on the code review like how we develop the normal software or application we I will ask other developers to review my code and put some give some feedback if it's there'll be a better way to do it or some minor enhancement or some good other advices and also we can do the code walkthrough we can rec I mean we can re record the, the code walkthrough like a video to explain your code see how you organize your solution and your code style and the main explain the main methods utilities and the services which is a good reference for the for the for, for the verification and next we'll be writing the unit test which is like do a testing for each of the unit to make sure the each of a unit is functional and the output is is it's is, is our expectation and last one we also need to do the integration test like we have a lot of modules we have like like in my game we have a different menu we have different widgets if they come across together, they merge, we need to make sure they're all working correctly in, in together. And the next will be do the feature test, like do the play, play testing to ask other people to to play the game and give the, the feedback. We can we can create a survey for that, a couple of the questionnaire and they can give some feedback see how the game looks like uh, it is is the game is easy or hard or something else and also we need to show our interface to to the people see whether our interface is good enough and is attractive or we need to do something else 
that's kind of a verification. So this screenshot is uh, shows about the unit test for one of the the utility method. You see that it's empty or is not empty. Just give the the mark input and you are compile the output. See whether it's 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 our expectation. And next we'll be talking about the validation since we know for the validation is more about the question about the does the model represent the situation we want to describe so yeah that's 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 the where our initial thoughts about the validation i'm developing the 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 entertainment game it may not represent the real world situation real world scenario or cases so but i do but I do plan to perform validation for my solution, like for the event and also the extreme condition. For the event, we know in the system we have a lot events, like the bullet explosion or tank explosion or tank movement, and also the key press. You can you press certain key, what would be the event or the the activities will be happen, and also the extreme condition snack the max number of enemy can be in on the map so it means is that is that okay to mean the max number right for the each of the level see if we have five for this and how about the ten on the map is that difficult or is not feasible and also the layout layout of the map we make the map more complicated and see whether it's is playable and is it does it fun for that and also next one we can set more limit for the user says like they want to do the the more high le higher level challenge we can set the minimal bullets so yeah like this is the screenshot for the for the game so those are those are the enemy tanks those are blockers, like water. The blue stands for water, so the 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 bullets can pass the water, but your tank can cannot pass. Those those white ones stand for like like iron, like steel. The your bullets cannot pass as well as your 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 tank. And those are are the bricks. You can use in your bullets to to destroy those, and even though you cannot pass. So my tank will be go around, and initially we have five tanks on on the map. Like I said, the e extreme condition. We can set more. Maybe we can set ten. See how the game behave, and we can name it the the my tank bullet. Since like now is 500, maybe we can just name like 100. See, can you pass the 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 this map? Something like that. Those are ideas, and we do want to give the demo for this. Yeah, that will be easy for me to explain the the me mechanism be behind the game and what are the features for the for the for this game. So you see on the top we have the menu bar. They have a lot of options to do the configuration for the map and change the behavior of the map of of the game. I think that's it. Thank you.